Ah, James, there you are. I have a special special for you. A new fleet of engines from Staten Island have come to help us during the holiday season, and you're to show them around. Oh! You have got to be kidding! Now, now, James, that's quite enough. I cannot believe this! <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's, no, that's a pretty good job. Alrighty, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Zany Trains, the entire first season, which I was gracefully sent by Zany Trains themselves. Today we'll not only be unboxing these guys, but hopefully figuring out a little bit more about them and the different miscellaneous characters that are featured in this lineup. So let me not spoil anything else. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and unbox these guys. Alrighty guys, so it's been a while since we've done an unboxing video, and as you can see here, we have a pretty large package from Staten Island. I'm sure by now you guys have heard of the Zany Trains. If not, get out from under that rock. They're basically the Garbage Pail Kids, but in wooden railway form. And though I don't collect wooden railway as much as I used to, it was something that definitely caught my interest. And when I was offered the entire first season, I, um jumped at the opportunity. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be unboxing that. And I'm super excited, so let's just go ahead and get into it, shall we? Alrighty, let's start here. Alright, I think we're in. We are in. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Alright, there's gonna be... There's a lot to cover here. Alright, should we just start taking them out, like, one by one? Sure, I guess that, that works. Let's do that. Alrighty, move this one out of the way. Alrighty, looks like first we have Sugar Rush Susie, who is an energetic engine who has a super sweet tooth and is always ready for a snack break. There's something to be said about this packaging. It is super unique and it's, it's very eye-catching. As you can see here, we have a picture of the engine on the front and the car she comes with. And on the back, there is the description of who she is, as well as a little checklist for the entire first season, which I believe is all in this box. So we'll have quite a bit to go through. Alright, let's go ahead and get into Susie then. Oh, wow. Each one comes with a collectible playing card, which I think is super cool. That definitely adds to the collectability of these things. And it's looking like on the back of this, it is... Yeah, on the back of this, it's the same as on the back of the box. But uh, it's cooler to have a miniature version of that. All right, and let's get into the engine itself. Let's start with Susie first. Oh, wow. Here's her face and all of the detail on the side of her. This is super unique. It's looking like inside of here, there's these little sludge creatures or maybe chocolate animals. And here we have chewed up gum stuck all over her window and inside of her cab. On her backside, we have a little sign here that says the sweet life, as well as I think some gummy bears and a chocolate bunny. Something in the back there. There's a lollipop stuck to her top. And on the top, it says dentist dandy candy. That's really cool. And the other side is actually different from a... Uh, this one. Instead of having the uh, open door here, there's two little windows or two pretty large windows. And this one has the chewed up gum and some flies and stuff in it. And in this one, I can make out some cotton candy. Looks like more of the sludge and some more of the candy. So yeah, she's definitely uh, in a sugar rush. The printing on this thing is phenomenal. It doesn't feel like it's going to rub off. It's actually painted on there quite well. And I just noticed the wheels have this super unique swirl design on them. And now let's get into her little box car. Let's see here. Does this come off? Oh, yes, it does. Sit that there. And she is carrying in this little cargo car. Oh, even more sweets. It's looking like here we see some more of that chocolate. They have more of the uh, candy animals. Yeah, I guess those were candy animals, as you can see there. Got the gummy bear again, some chewed up jelly beans. Let's see, what's that say? Cuckoo, cuckoo choco bar. Nice. And the other side features the cotton candy. We've got some, I think those are candles and different sorts of lollipops and stuff like that. And that fits right into here it's a pretty snug fit so don't expect that to fall out or anything and that looks super cool once it's actually in the cargo car and here is Susie all put together like i said the quality on these things is phenomenal and i really like how unique they are compared to the normal wooden railway stuff we have nowadays like brio or the thomas stuff if this is a sign for what's to come i am super excited for the rest so let's go ahead and get into those
Alrighty, next up looks like we have T and Teresa. Oh, it's looking like she has some explosives and stuff on her. Oh, I get it, TNT, and she's got, like, explosives and stuff. That's that's funny. Let's see, on the back it says, Duck and cover, it's T and Teresa. This fearless firecracker freight train is always ready to rush headfirst into danger. You can always count on her to help, just hope there isn't too much collateral damage. I love the bios for these guys. Like, they're all so unique. All right, I'll stop talking about the boxes now and go ahead and get into the model. Let's see here. All righty, looks like we have... Teresa, same setup as we had before. We have the uh, card and the locomotive and a cargo car. Let's go ahead and pop them out. Here's the card. I'm super excited to have these. I might actually end up framing these and like putting them on my wall. And let's go ahead and pull everything out. It's looking like every wagon and every train is going to have the same sort of wheels, but they're each color coordinated to whatever they come with. So that's pretty cool. I guess we'll start with the, oh, that one came out a lot easier this time. We'll start with the uh, cargo car this time. Alrighty, and there's all the explosives. Looks like we have gasoline, jet fuel, um, miscellaneous bombs. That's awesome. And on the other side, we have fireworks, TNT, more bombs. I don't know if I trust this engine. And here that is inside of the flat car. That looks super cool. Alrighty, let's get the engine out to see how she looks with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's been up to some trouble. And here is Teresa in her, I, I want to say glory? I'm not too sure. It looks like she's been messed up a little bit. So on the side here covering her windows, we have some wooden planks that say warning on this side and a lot of damage. I'm guessing she blew herself up at some point. Here's a look at her face. She has smoke coming out of her nose and pigtails. And on the top, it says Kaboom Co. On the other side, we can see inside of her cab and the door is broken and there's more explosives inside of her and more broken windows with the wood on there. This one says danger as well. Oh, and on the back, she says accident free days five. Five accident-free days. I don't think that number's gonna go up, though. And she also has boarded-up windows back here. I really like this one. And here she is with her cargo car all put together. Definitely about to cause an accident. And here she is next to Susie. those two cleared up let's see what's next Ooh, next up we have toxic ted this is the one that i've seen all over twitter i'm really hyped for this one let's see here the radioactive choo-choo is leaking goo it's toxic ted not sure if he has a loose screw or bolt missing but this train has definitely sprung a leak whenever he gets lost he can usually ask his cockroach companions for directions at least he can drive well at night since he's usually glowing <laughs> that is awesome from the looks of the box he has three eyes and is filled with radioactive goo so yeah that makes sense Let's go ahead and get this guy open really quick. Here is a look at his card. Same thing as on the uh, box, of course. And let's go ahead and take a look at Ted. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot, I just realized on the bottom it says his name. Is that like that on all of them? Oh, it is. Feel stupid for just realizing that, though. And here is Ted. On the top here, it says has-beens. It's a little hard to see, but I think that's the same thing that's on the cargo car. And through his windows and on his cab here, you can see he is filled to almost the brim with radioactive goo. On the top here, he has a little meter that's set to uh-oh. Um, yeah, I'd say that's about right. And here is his face. He's got three eyes and a squillium unibrow going on there. I think the radioactive waste may be getting to him a little bit. Maybe that's just me. And let's take a look at his cargo car too. This one's a little bit more snug in there too. Let's see. Alrighty. It's looking like here we have the radioactive waste and there are the cockroaches that the uh, back was talking about. Let's see leak proof, but it's leaking. Uh-oh. We got a cockroach just chilling out there. Does not give superpowers. 
and another one spurting out right there on top of that rush. Does not give superpower. The fact that this dude is going is a superpower. What are you talking about? And here that is in the car. It has purple wheels that match um, Ted's here. And here they are together. hard to choose a favorite out of these guys let's see what is next here Alrighty, looks like we're looking at peeve and plod next i think those are yeah we have two locomotives in this one and what does the back say about these two it's the pesky pests some of the last working steam engines on staten island these are steam engines oh yeah there is steam coming out of them oh okay that's cool that's cool peeve and plod are out to try and stop all the electric trains from taking over the railway with peeve as the brains of the operation and plod as the muscle these trains will stop at nothing to cause trouble for the zany trains if they don't rust first all right just from that alone these two may be my favorite hold on enough about the box let's go ahead and get these two out of here i believe the small one is plod so let's go ahead and start with him Oh no, this is Peeve. The small one is Peeve and the big one is Plod. My bad, my bad. I love that face. He's got a little bit of a gear monocle thing there and this very maniacal smile. It's really cool to think of the steam engines as the uh, antagonists for once. And here on the side, we can see his gears, his broken piston, which is leaking steam. On the top here, it says the pesky pests, which yeah, I could believe that's what he is. He's also got some rivet detailing and the same on the side. He's got a little, he's got a little whistle here. And I think those are yeah, that is him rusting away, and those are his mechanics on the inside. Awesome. On the back, there's no little nameplate or anything. It's this... Is that like a Naruto headband? And a gear here with some lights. I love how gnarly these are. Like, they look so different, and so... Well, I guess in his case, evil. And he has yellow wheels, which I believe um, Plod will have as well. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Oh, I forgot about the card, too. Here is the uh, card for anybody who was interested. Same deal as the last. Probably gonna get framed. Yada yada. And let's go ahead and pull out Plod here. Alrighty, here he is. Wow. He actually has rotating bogeys. That is okay. That's awesome. And here is his face. It looks like he's gotten uh, hit in the head a couple times and uh, might be suffering a little bit. He's kind of designed the same way as Peeve here, where there's pistons all over him that are... Uh, leaking steam and he's starting to rust away a little bit here on the uh, outside and the other side is the same but with uh, different gears and different pistons uh, in different spots he doesn't have a little sign or anything on the back either but oops but he does have this huge piston that uh looks like it's about to explode and on the top he also says the pesky pests as well so these two match not just for the fact that they're steam engines but the design of these guys and just how they look probably makes them my favorite so far. Like I said, it's so cool to think of the steam engines as the antagonists for once. And thinking of all of the hijinks these two would get into is a blast. So I'm super excited to see what ends up happening with uh, these two. Alrighty, let's see here. What is next for us? Alrighty, here we have Trashy Terry. His description reads, You can smell him coming a mile away. It's Trashy Terry. This rancid rail car has been hauling trash all over Staten Island longer than anyone. He's always happy to share some sage wisdom or some fleas that he picked up from his rat friends. And yep, looks like his uh, rat friend is actually his... um conductor there he's got some trash in his windows got a little uh, garbage load here let's go ahead and open this guy up too all righty 
here is a look at that card. And let's go ahead and get into Terry. Start with the uh, engine again for this one. Alrighty, here he is. Here's a look at his face. He's got some overgrown green hair. He's got some uh, facial hair going on, some dirty cheeks, and a very yellow tooth. And on the side here, he's got some got some trash splatter on him. There's the uh, conductor mouse and different little garbage cans and stuff inside of him. It must stink inside of there. I feel bad for that mouse. He does have something on the back of him. It says dumpster diving, and there's a uh, another mouse peeking through the uh, window. Oh, the window says wash me. Oh, that's funny. And on top of him, it says, let's see, what does that say? Extra strength fresh. Something tells me that's not uh, helping too much, though. And it also says down in the dumps. That's that's awesome. Here's a look at his other side, which also has some garbage splats and some, looks like a dead fish and some just nasty stuff, just some crow stuff inside of him. And there is a uh, mouse surfing. That's awesome. So probably the grossest one yet, but uh, definitely one of the more unique ones. And let's go ahead and take a look at his wagon, shall we? Let's see here. Alrighty, here's the load. It looks like we have more garbage. There's a mouse or a rat eating a piece of pizza, just chilling on his uh, throne, I guess. And on the other side, we have one in a trash can, one in a trash bag, and just more miscellaneous trash just thrown around. I also forgot to mention that on the top of basically all of these, no, not basically, literally all of these, they have a magnet, so they can be used with other wooden railway items if you have them. Definitely one of the more gnarly ones. Oh my gosh, my desk is so full right now. Alrighty, next up we have the oh, awesome, we have the Corky Cargo. I was hoping I would get this too. Does this have a, oh, it does have a little bio. It says, we gathered together all the peculiar packages that the zany trains have left around Staten Island. Have fun trying to transport this funky freight around town, if you can find someone willing to take them. That is awesome. So zany trains is not only offering um, different locomotives and uh, different styles, but they're also offering little cargo cars to go with them. And I'm super excited to see what's inside of this. It's looking like we're gonna get some special trash cans and let's see different types of loads on two different cars i don't let's just see let's just open it up and take a look oh wow there's way more in this than i thought there was going to be all right let's take a look at this first thing is this one of the yes it is this is one of the little trash cans or is it a trash can oh no it's a little fried pickle jar fred's fried pickles sour maybe and there's the uh, other side there's not really anything on these sides but um the front and back has a printed design what else do we have in here? this should be oh this is going to be the smaller load i think yes it is here we have some missing socks on this side and oh more missing socks on this side so one of the zany trains just went around Stealing the people of Staten Island socks. My money is on this guy. My money's on Peeve. It was definitely Peeve. So we have that to go with the uh, little pickle jar there. Let's see here. I think this is the other waste bin. Yes, it is. This is the has-beens waste bin. Oh, this is the same thing that was on... Uh, let's see, where's he at? Yeah, that's the same thing that's on a uh, Toxic Ted. So it looks like this is this was his doing. And here we can see some toxic waste coming out of the uh, peril itself. There's a cockroach chilling there. Yeah, this was definitely Ted's doing. Oop, these also come with a collector's card. My bad, I should have pulled that out first. And there is the back of that. And let's go ahead and start unboxing these cars. Let's start with, I guess let's start with the purple one. Get this load out of there. Let's see, what are we looking at in this one? Alrighty, looks like we got some more trash with a uh, yeah, little mouse just chilling in there. Got some glass bottles, got some open trash bins, and... Yeah, same thing basically on the other side. Now, this one I'm thinking was Terry. Yeah, like, this one was you, wasn't it, dude? This one was definitely Terry's doing. And this one fits in a purple flat car. It doesn't really matter, I guess, which flat car you put it in. It just came in the purple flat car. So that's that wagon. It also features the same wheels, but um, in black this time. So 
that is the first wagon. Let's go ahead and get into this second one. This one is gray with uh, also black wheels. Nothing really too special about the flat cars, but the loads, here we go. What is this? Is that Oscar the Grouch? Oh, that's copyright free Oscar the Grouch. So we have some sort of monster inside of here and it says, do not feed. There's a uh, whole tongue sticking out of here. There's not really anything on the ends like uh, the other ones, but on the other side, it says, stay back. We have some evil peering eyes. And is that an, is that a tentacle? I don't trust what's inside of this box. And here's that inside of the gray cargo car. And here are these together. And this stuff can uh, either fit on top of it or around it. And you just have a little consist for them to pull. I'm very confused on who brought who brought this one in? I don't know why, but something's telling me that this is Susie's fault. And yeah, this has Susie written all over it. So that is the little expansion pack. Let's move these here. And is there anything else inside of this box? I'm not thinking there is. Yep, that should be everything. go ahead and pull everything out here. It's a little difficult to get it all on screen, but here is the entire first season of the uh, Zany Train collection. Looking at all of these, it is super hard to choose a favorite because they're all so unique and I guess different. But if there was any two I had to choose, it would definitely go to Plod and Peeve here. But I also really like Trashy Terry and I really like Teresa too. I honestly love all of these guys. But if I had to choose, I guess it would go to these two. But do not let that take away from any of the other characters. These are all so unique and just so well made. There's something to be said about the quality these things have. Like the print on this is phenomenal. You could rub it and scratch this and it's still gonna stay on there. And the fact that each locomotive comes with its own cargo car with its own unique load, that's, that's super cool. Already a step above, you know, Mattel. So coming up with a complaint for these things is honestly kind of hard. If there's one thing I would like to see changed, it's the shape of the locomotives. Since I'm sure you can tell they all follow this same sort of look with the cab here in the back and then the uh, boiler or front area here. But also try to remember this is the first season of these things. It's kind of more like a trial run. And I'm sure that season two and other seasons past that will feature even more unique designs and characters. So I'm super excited to see where that goes. I might have to change my favorite to not only Prod and Peeve, but also the uh, expansion pack. I just love these cars. I love the little loads that come in them and the fact that they come with these little loads and stuff here or barrels i guess do these fit inside of the other yes they do do they stand it's looking like they're just too big to stand but you can set them inside of the wagons kind of like so if you ever wanted to oh come on prod oh that's peeve my bad I had you for like 20 minutes and you're already causing trouble if i had to give an overall rating for these trains they would easily be a 9 out of 10 if not just a flat out 10 out of 10. the one thing holding them off is again the shapes which is pretty understandable but the overall quality and print and uniqueness of these locomotives is phenomenal i highly recommend anybody who collects thomas wooden railway or just any thomas fan no no not even thomas fan get thomas fans out of here any rail fan no let's get rail fans out of here any body would probably really like the Zany trains, and they are definitely some of the more unique things out there now. Honk if I'm glowing, that's that's funny. If any of you guys are in the wooden railway market looking for anything unique or new, these would definitely be my top picks. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link to them below. And again, huge thank you to Zany trains for sending me the entire first collection. It really has been an honor not only communicating with them, but seeing the effort they've put in actually pay off in some phenomenal little products. So if you're asking me, the Zany trains are a1, genuine top tier stuff here. And I highly recommend at least picking up one of these guys. The boxes they come in, the overall design of them, it's crazy. I don't know how James and the others will feel about being surrounded by such unique entities, but my new troublesome engines from Staten Island will receive a very happy home uh, on my railway. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing me um, unbox these guys. I'm telling you guys, I don't trust, I don't trust Peeve. I don't trust, stay there, stay, stay there. The entire time I'm worried about Peeve, turns out Teresa's been planting explosives everywhere. <laughs> I am not drunk. Nice aim, punk. <laughs>